हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इन फोकस प्रोग्राम टूडे इस टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ट्रेसिंग इसरोज ओरिजिन पॉइंट्स ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द न्यूज अर्ली बिगिनिंग्स ऑफ अ स्पेस एजेंसी टूवर्ड्स आई एन एस सी ओ पी ए आर एंड इसरो एंड प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द न्यूज जुलाई फोर्टीन वॉज अ हिस्टोरिक डे फॉर इंडिया एज चंद्रयान थ्री इंडिया कॉवेटेड मून मिशन वॉज लॉन्च ऑफ फ्रॉम द सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर इन आंध्र प्रदेश The mission aims to achieve the feat of conducting a soft landing on the moon's southern pole. Chandrayaan-3 will take approximately 42 days to reach the moon. If it lands successfully, India will become only the fourth country after the United States, Russia and China to have done so. Since its inception in 1969, the country's space agency ISRO has carried out altogether 89 launch missions carrying satellites into the space. ISRO's role in carrying forward India's space dreams and it has become a symbol of national pride for many. In 2014 when the Mars Orbiter mission was successfully carried out, ISRO proved that India is self-capable and self-reliant in space technology. Now moving on to early beginnings of a space agency. The first space organization was the Physical Research Laboratory set up in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Along with Vikram Sarabhai a few scientists worked here but it lacked adequate funds In India space research began in 1920s with the studies conducted by the scientist S K Mitra C V Raman and Meghnath Saha In 1940s and 50s space related activities started gaining attention nationwide Dr Vikram Sarabhai also known as founding father of space program recognized the benefits of space technologies in India He managed to garner funds from US and USSR even during the Cold War rivalry times. His efforts paid off and on November 21, 1963, a small American sounding rocket known as Nike Apache took off from Thumba, a fishing hamlet near Trivandrum, Kerala. Thumba was chosen for meeting certain geography and physics related criteria such as of being at the magnetic equator which eased the process of the rocket's launch. With the establishment of the Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station in 1963 at Thumba, a location close to the magnetic equator, there was a quantum jump in the scope of aeronomy and atmospheric sciences in India. The Saint Magdalene Church in Thumba, Kerala was their workshop and the bishop's house was their office. It was in this church the first rocket systems were assembled and integrated. The building assumed multifaceted roles in the beginning of ISRO by acting as the first lab and as the main office for scientists in the early days. The building was later converted into the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center Space Museum in 1985 towards INSCOPAR and ISRO. ISRO's roots stretch back to 1962 when India's first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru enlisted physicist Vikram Sarabhai to set up the Indian National Committee for Space Research. INSCOPAR was an autonomous body that was a part of the Department of Atomic Energy then headed by the pioneering Indian scientist Homi J Bhabha the ICO NO SPAR grew to become the Indian Space Research Organization in 1969 with the establishment of the ISRO and further with the government of India forming a dedicated department of space in 1972 research and execution of space related enterprises got a boost ISRO was also brought under the DOS. Six years later, the country launched its first satellite called Aryabhat into orbit aboard a Soviet rocket. In 1979, ISRO conducted the first test of its own home-grown orbital rocket, the State Launch Vehicle 3. Following the success of the SLV, ISRO was keen to begin construction of a satellite launch vehicle that would be able to put truly useful satellites into polar orbits. On April 28, 2008, ISRO successfully launched 10 satellites in a single mission, further boosting its capabilities in space. ISRO is now one of the largest space agencies in the world. It is headquartered in Bengaluru. Its activities are spread across various centers and units. Now moving on to practice questions. First of all, prelims question. Consider the following statements regarding the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO. One ISRO succeeded ICO NOSPAR in 1969. Two, it was the brainchild of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. Three, ISRO launched India's first satellite in 1980. Which of the following statements is or are correct? One only, one in two only, one in three only, or one, two, and three? 
and now mains question briefly mention about isro's role in making india a global space power explain new space age and mention the challenges and opportunities for isro so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching